Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Today we're going dove hunting, finally. It's been like three days, probably. I've been having trouble finding fields. A lot of people in my area have been having trouble finding good dove feeds. It's been hard. It's been tough. But y'all know my buddies, Cameron, Dylan, Dalton, Colby at Wing Chaser Outdoors. They guide. They do all sorts of different waterfowl guided activities, full lodge, full everything. Well, they do dove hunts as well, and we're going with them today. But before we get on the road, check out the new Ducks t-shirt of the month. That old teal, baby. Teal season hits Kansas. This coming weekend, Saturday, it opens. Your boy's going to be getting after it. The new duck boat will be here any day. Be looking out. It's a beaut. But as you can tell, I am just jacked out of my mind. I'm ready to go. Been wanting to get on another good dove shoot. Cameron called today and he's like, let's go. And I'm like, let's roll. Love that. Well, we are here and it is extremely windy. It's a beautiful day. It's only like 78 degrees, but the south wind is blowing at probably 30, 25 mile an hour. So I have to apologize right out the gate. If it gets all, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. But I'm gonna try to film as we walk in because we're probably gonna spook up a ton of birds. When we pulled up, automatically we've seen like a hundred so this little this is a very small field it is absolutely loaded hopefully the wind don't give us too much trouble today we were gonna send it with the old panel blind but i think it'll just become a kite you know what i'm saying i mean a ton we've probably scared up like 200 doves so far yeah, there's a lot of them. this is loaded dude well old dylan's gonna go try to flush one up that landed about 40 yards out here let's see if he can connect there it is! Oh! Oh! Big swing and a miss. Darn it, dude. So, the wind is, I don't know, is it gusting 30, you think? Yeah, gusting 30. When these doves get up above 10 feet and they get in that wind, I mean, they are gone. You gotta drop them in the first shot. Vamanos. You guys got any uh, duck hunting dates left to be booked up? Yeah, we got one teal. Um, date left for September 21, 22, and that's it for teal. And we got a few big duck dates in October left. If you guys are looking for a central Kansas duck hunt of a lifetime, I'm telling you what, or a teal hunt in September, like Cameron said, they got a few available. Hit them up on Instagram right here. Here we go. Oh, he's coming right up in there. That's yours. I'm in your. Oh. Oh, he's down. He did. That boy did. Oh, he's out there. Oh, all you, Brandon. Man, those left to righties like that. I struggled last week with them bad, dude. I have no idea why. We all suck again. Here we go. Oh, he's going your way. He going your way. Oh, that's Brandon, yeah. Oh, he took it early. Oh, third shooter. Nice on the third shot. Yeah, buddy. I thought you were going to let him keep coming. Oh, yeah, were you getting antsy in the pantsy over there? Long shot. <laughs> Man, they love to flank us. They are flanking us. They are skittish as all get out. There's a bunch here, but they're all just sitting in the field. Once they get here, they just sit down. They don't move. And then when they're coming to you into this strong wind, they see you from a ways out and they just slightly flank you every single time. Well, Cameron made a move up by the trucks. He just called Dylan and he's like, hey man, they're all landing up here. So we're all gonna basically pheasant hunt these all the way back to the road and uh, go sit up by the trucks because that's obviously where they're wanting to land. So give it a whirl. But my hands are kind of full. I'm probably gonna have to one arm these bad boys. <laughs> Looks like that's the place to be where we're walking at. Hopefully this is the move. Hopefully taking a little gamble, moving. Hopefully this works. So real quick before the mic gets completely blown out by the wind. This is one of the reasons why I didn't bring Fred. The whole field is nothing but stickers. It's these yellow flower stickers. Whatever these are called, drop a comment down below and let me know. But Fred would have been hating life, let me tell you what. He would have had them everywhere. He would have been curled up in a ball, probably whining the whole time. Finally, all right, I got a spot on him. We better get to him. First bird down. 
Hopefully I can find them. They've been tough to find today. Let me tell you what, he fell right here. There he is. Yeah, buddy. Nice. There we go. First bird down. There we go. First bird down for me of the day. He got a headshot pretty good there. But if you're liking the video so far, let's get this video over 3,000 likes. I haven't even done it this season yet. Have not hit 3,000 on a video yet. Help a brother out. It only takes that much time. Just hit the button for me. Come on. He gonna stay over there. You sucker. Try him. He's still flying. Yeah, that was a good old 70 yarder there, boys. Well, we're starting to get a little bit of flight action coming at us right here. But uh, as you can tell, we are sitting out here in the middle of BFE, out in the big giant sticker patch. Uh, I don't know why they love this stuff, but they absolutely love this flower, these stickers, whatever this is. It is, let's see, little time check here, 502. It rained earlier. They probably stayed in roost midday. So hopefully we get a good flight here in about 30 minutes. That's what we're all hoping. But I got one down. Dylan's got, I think, two down. They, the other two guys between them probably have four down. It's been a little slow. <laughs> oh, I snaked you that much. <laughs> we pulled the trigger almost dead, dead even. It was literally that close. See if we can find him here right here somewhere there he is yep you had a dead eye on him there boy well there we go second one down of the day i barely snaked old dylan just i mean a a hair oh we lost a wing here feller i don't think i got that one on camera but brandon just smacked one that was nice well uh they're flying a little bit more here I think two or three more birds have been killed on the left side uh, since the last time I shot, so it's picking up. He's not that far. If you miss the first time, give her two. <laughs> Golly, just screaming by, dude. Just absolutely screaming. That's almost impossible with this wind. They are cooking. Go down, boy. Nah, he dead now. I'll just see if I can get him. He's pretty close. There we go. Had to give him a second little tapper. But uh, that is three down. Boy, it has slowed down to a creeping crawl. Let me tell you what. This wind, the birds do not like flying in this much wind at all. Starting to fly a little bit. Here's feathers right here. There's a feather right there. Where in the world? There he is. Got him. He went a little farther than we thought. No band on the old dove, but it's three down, boys. Three down. He dead. Yeah, buddy. Oh, they're getting. Oh, another one dead. Nice shot. Well, Dylan just got one, I got one. There we go. Four on the board for Bob. Let's see if we can find him. It's been a little tough finding these birds. I'm telling you what, these morning dove really blend in with the dirt. Oh, come here. Come here, dude. There we go. Man, they're getting into him over yonder. There we are. I always gotta check them for bands because that is a dream come true, a banded dove like I've always said. Well, yeah, it is the next day. Ah, washboard roads are just H-E double hockey sticks on this truck, let me tell you what. So it's the next day and uh, the last time we did this, you guys really liked it, but sometimes we're gonna do a catch clean cook at the end of the videos and other times we are gonna have to go check the pigeon traps and it is 9 30 in the morning uh friday the day before teal opener tomorrow we're gonna be shooting teal y'all i cannot wait 
But like always, I like to recap the hunt. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do real quick. We're gonna recap the hunt on the way to check the pigeon traps. It is what it is. Cameron, uh, Cameron warned me. He said, dude, there's a lot of birds there, but they're really skittish to the decoy. And what he meant was they'll see you, they'll beeline to you, and when they get about 50 yards away, they go whoop, and they skirt you right around the side. They always flank you. And uh, we seen probably a thousand dove that day, honestly, a ton, but not many really wanted to decoy well, you know what I mean? So dove hunting, it is what it is. We've had a little more cold weather roll through. I don't know if that's what's messing them up or if just a lot of them moved out, but there is hardly any dove around. But I hope you guys are having a lot more luck with dove than I am, that's for darn sure. But like I said, we are on our way to check the traps on top of the rooftop building there downtown yeah if you if you guys have never seen it yet uh stick around here hopefully we got a bunch of pigeons in both traps well we are up here favorite part is always opening the door to see if we have anything but real quick before we go through the door i have to ask y'all if you guys like the videos like this mixing them up with the pigeons hit that thumbs up button for your boy let's get this video well over a thousand likes shall we thank you so much it helps and lets me know that you guys like my content you know what i'm saying oh we got them in the new one. Oh, and we got one in this one sweet what do we got we got us a blue check and he is not excited to see me he's absolutely freaking out but the new trap, look at this. Gotcha, I tricked y'all, didn't I? Good looking birds. This one guy's absolutely just going nuts. They don't like seeing you for the first time. They kind of freak out, you know what I'm saying? He looks like a really old bird though. Wow, good looking birds here. Like I've been saying, the cooler it gets, the better the trapping's gonna be because they're gonna have to feed more. It's just like ducks and geese, any bird for that matter, any animal for that matter, heck, even humans. When it's cold out, everything eats more to survive. You know what I'm saying? So the colder it gets at night, these birds will become more vulnerable, let me tell you. Four total in one day. It is really picking up. The cooler it gets during the nighttime. Come on, bud. Drag them out by their feet sometimes. Here we go. Oh, that's a decently old bird, middle-aged bird. Check him out. Nice blue check. Good looking. Got some good age to him, that's for sure. Before we put him in there, I need to put some new bait. I need to bring some more corn. All I brought with us today is just wheat. Oh, it definitely needs some in here. There we go. There you go. You had to go on this trap. Honestly, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. It's gonna get insane when the winter hits. We're gonna be trapping like 10 a day at minimum, I guarantee it. So that's what we're gonna do. Some days we're gonna be scouting birds. Some videos might be scouting slash pigeon trapping. You know what I'm saying? Some videos might be hunting slash pigeon trapping. Some videos might be hunting slash scouting. You never know. But this hunting season is gonna be epic. Easy, easy, easy. Let's get this guy out first. He's going absolutely insane. Come on, dude, he's an old bird. Look at this guy. Wow, look at him. That's an old bird. You got any bands? No bands. That's a big boy. That's a more than a handful. Big bird, look at him. That's an old guy there, look at his eyes. That's a really nice bird, y'all. Now let's get these two out. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this guy here is pretty. He's a blue bar, but he's a really, really light, light color. Almost white, not quite, but he's about a middle-aged bird as well, as you can tell by his eye and his legs let me see his legs here yeah middle-aged bird nice 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 i have a feeling like i've been saying the colder it gets the more we trap we're gonna get into trapping some pretty birds maybe some white ones maybe some red ones 
maybe some banded birds that got lost. You know what I'm saying? Come here, come here. It would be cool to trap a banded bird and, and take it back to the owner alive. You know what I'm saying? But here's our last bird. Man, this bird's got some good age on him too. Man, during the hot, hot, hot days when we were trapping, we were trapping literally 80% were, were juvenile birds, very, very young. And now that this cool weather has set in, right now it's like 64 degrees. So at night it's getting down in the 50s. I don't think it's down in the 40s yet here in Kansas. But we're already starting to trick the more mature birds. It's gonna be awesome when winter hits. Go on, buddy. Feels good to have a little bit more success than we did on the dove hunt. The dove hunt, I only shot four birds. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not getting out there, if you're not giving stuff a try, you're never gonna know. You're never gonna even shoot one bird if you don't get out there and try, you know what I mean? And that statement goes for all you guys. Till season, like I said, starts tomorrow. I want you guys to know that I wish you all a great, great and successful fall. I hope you guys have really good luck on till opener here in Kansas or Oklahoma, wherever you're gonna be. I know a lot of you northern states, you all have been open for a week or two. But us southern boys, yeah, Kansas really isn't that southern, but compared to Nebraska and North Dakota, we're southern. So. Good luck to all my southern states this week, and I hope you all smack them. But remember, that field hat, oh yeah, the new Ducks field hat is available. I will link this bad boy down in the description below. Whenever you guys pick up something from Ducks Waterfowl, it goes directly to supporting your boy and bringing you guys more of these videos. Tons of pigeons flying, but until next time. Your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Gotta go.